Hello guys, um, my name's Steven. Um, I've just been watching quite a few videos actually over on YouTube and stuff. I've plenty of other people doing uh, movie reviews, Blu-ray updates, DVD updates. Um, so I just thought to myself I might as well give, myself, give it a go myself and uh, just see what you all think really. Um, I'm just going to start off with my actually first update I have here. Um, I'll do uh, my collection up, collections and stuff later on just really the first video just to really get myself going here. So the first film I shall show you is, is the 2009 remake of Halloween 2. This is of course is written and directed by Rob Zombie. Um, this film here it sort of it disappointed me in ways and it made me enjoy it in ways. Um, a couple of reasons why I didn't like it too much was because um, really uh, I don't know it's it's meant to be Michael Myers again but there's there's times in the film he doesn't wear the Michael Myers mask where in the older ones and even the remake there in 2007 he didn't take he had it on this one he's it on he takes it off and he's it on and we actually find out he's, he, he might as well be a hobo because he's like a big long beard and her like down to his back um which i thought was pretty silly um i also didn't like uh the girl who played laurie and this one i really didn't i thought she i don't know i just didn't think i just didn't take their acting um a bit over the top sometimes um also, Dr. Samuel Loomis as well, played by Ma 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 Malcolm McDowell, was always not great as well. Like, they really could have left him out of the film completely, actually. It's like they only put him in to because of the character, so they put the character in, but just give him a load of s stupid lines and a stupid story bit in the, in the midst of the film. Um, well, really, the main plot of this film, it's, it's, like the, it's the original plot. There's no doubt, but there's a lot of holes in it. Um, the main thing is he just goes around killing random people. Um, yeah, it's a lot. Slasher films are like that, but I mean, this one it really does come in. Like you don't really, version the original Halloween two, my uh, John Carpenter's version. It's it's just a it's a whole story between them two. Whereas in this one, the two of them don't even meet or come near each other until the last half an hour or so. Um, also, this one as well. This is the UK version. This isn't the uncut version. I just I uh, got the theoretical cut because. As I say, I liked it. I saw it in the cinema. It was fine. And from what I read on internet and YouTube and stuff and other things, the unrated cut wasn't that great. It was sort of a a different movie that is too much death and really pointless. So um, I just decided, why not? I'll just get the theoretical cut because it saves me trying to import it and waiting on the import and all coming. And so I just thought, yeah, that was the first one. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you, I did import this next one. It is the... 20th season, 20 years complete 20th season of The Simpsons on Blu-ray um, pretty good set this, um, I always, always love The Simpsons although the, the, the thing of strange that they sort of stopped at 12 and skipped to 20 um, the the only downfall I have with this one is the lack of special features as because there's only one special feature on it, and say the twentieth anniversary special sneak peek with Morgan Spurlock. Um, as far as I heard, this acts this anniversary documentary episode or whatever it was was actually aired on TV in America before it actually came out. Before this box actually came out, which I thought was pretty stupid. Um, so effectively, you saw the episode before the uh, the discs came out. But you know that's it. You know what I mean it's the episode just good as ever in my opinion. I like and it, there's a lot of it. there's yes it's like anything. There's a few episodes are bad. There a few episodes aren't that great, but others are really funny. Um, a lot of people now say The Simpsons is bad. They're old, but in my opinion they're not because like it's a Family Guy. Family Guy's good, but it's a lot of misses a lot of the times. Um, but this one here basically get the there's your, your cover just basically tell you twenty years of Simpsons. That's your back cover. Also, in case you have noticed as well, this is a, is actually region free. But I didn't when I actually opened this. Actually, if you look in this corner here, you actually look. It's actually a region A logo on it, which sort of scared me a little bit because I thought they've got it wrong and I'd have to send it back and stuff when I did, really didn't want to. Um, but basically, uh, 
your box is basically just the cover in the front the back with all the episode information on it you open it up you get the Simpsons poster with a few extra characters added in as well front and back you open it up and you get disc 1 which is here disc 2 which is actually behind these booklets there's disc 2 book it just basically ties to the episodes and that's pretty much that the last one is a set that I was really happy to get but and but I would have rather had the USA version because you did get the a uh, big box really stylish the US one but unfortunately it was region locked I got it is the 40 years of evolution planet of the apes five disc collectors box set now don't get me wrong, I'm pleased they've got it because I did uh, was really really interested in buying it. It is all the same stuff that is on the American box has special feature with the films, all five films and special features. The only one thing that I wish they had that this one doesn't have is the extended cut of Battle for the Planet of the, of the Apes. Um, it does have the extended cut for the Conquest one though. Um, Special features, there's com there's commentaries in all films, there's of course, of course Roddy McDowell as well, which is always good to have. Um, also, great documentaries on the series as well. Um, again, UK, it's the tr traditionally Fox, you get your, uh, sorry, you get your uh, Fox lip case, you take it off, and you got the cover on it then, pretty much the same as a Fox lip case. You open it up. And you get the films. You get Planet of the Apes, the original. And you get the Beneath Planet of the Apes, Escape from the Planet of the Apes, uh, Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, and Battle of the Planet of the Apes. And picture quality in these, by the way, are actually pretty good for such an old set of films. You know, I didn't actually, I didn't actually expect this as good as it were. That was there guys to say they're not up to like the standard of now today films, but they are good quality. Also, um I don't really need to say much about the films themselves because let's face it, we all know Planet of those original is brilliant, but as the series does go on the films do go downhill a little bit, but all in all they are in my opinion they're great, great films. Also, one thing I forgot to say was Disc one of The Simpsons. The episodes the first nine episodes are all standard def, but they've been upgraded to uh, HD and they're very good very good quality also and the disc, second disc all the episodes are in HD and widescreen and the episodes are the picture of them is it's amazing it, they're really really good picture quality I recommend this set to anybody who really wants the Simpsons who's on the wire but I recommend if you, if you, have, a, if you have the means to buy it in Blu-ray buy it in Blu-ray because for the price difference as well a Blu-ray is just so worth it in this collection but anyway folks that's it for the first one um as i say i just thought we'd give it a wee go because i've watched so many videos on youtube other people doing and really enjoy really enjoyed them um yeah that's pretty much it and as i say i'll come back with my collection updates um more dvd and blu-ray updates as well also some film reviews and probably whatever else i have to decide to do in this um, so yeah, it's great guys. Thanks very much for watching and hope you enjoyed. Bye